like they don't stop coming. What is this? Oh, this is for my bathroom. Oh, they small. I didn't know they would be small. Oh, I thought they were bigger than this, but it's okay. So I purchased these for my bathroom. They're pink. It's one is for, I purchased two. One is for my Q-tips. It's cute. And then, it's just all a part of the decor for my bathroom. And then the other one is for cotton balls. That's all. They're cute. They're little, they're big enough. I, I guess I don't need anything more than that. I thought it was a little bigger. And then I bought one for Erica's bathroom as well. And I'm assuming it's the same size. Yep. Same size box. And her bathroom is actually silver and white. But we're going to change it up and we're going to do silver, white, and purple. So she's going to be incorporating some purple into her bathroom. Um, these are just white. They're not purple. But this is for her cotton swabs and for her... Um, Q-tips. So we have two for her as well. And um, what else? Got this, I know what this is. This is some Bible that I ordered. Um, I have a ton of King James um, Bibles um, that I take to church that I have at home. I have a studying one. Um, and uh, I wanted to get a amplified because I only read amplified like from my cell phone and I wanted to be able to actually pull out my Bible and read my Bible. This is not, this is a soft cover. This one was, ooh, like 20. The hard cover was like 35 and I needed to buy two because, um, Erica and I will be reading them together and, uh, um, make sure that we are doing it like literally together like we in it um, so we can know where we are about that how we feel about the word then I can ask her questions about it and not be and, and actually real, see that she's been eating her word you know so I made sure I got the same exact one and it's amplified it does break it down a little bit better then the King James Version. The King James Version can be a little hard to understand sometimes. So the Amplified just helps um, break it down much better. That's all it is. But it's not like altering anything, um, any any of God's truth. Like some of them out there do. You got to be careful when you're looking for substitutes other than the King James Version. Because some of them will alter like just one word it'll change like one word and it'll alter the entire meaning so you gotta be careful with that all right so that's all i got in packages for today but i've been promising you guys that um munch pack uh box and i have it i've had it for a couple of weeks and i just haven't eaten it yet so when Erica is done taking up taking her nap, we are going to taste the goods in the Munch Pack. I actually received an email from that Munch Pack uh, the other day saying that they done mailed me out a whole nother package. So, yeah, it's probably been almost a month since I probably had it. I don't know, but you'll see. I'm going to be tasting it soon. I don't like how we don't have the light. All right. I know I have to buy a lamp for, for over there because that's why I've been over here, you guys, recording because it's been it's dark on that side because I don't have a lamp for my living room, so I have to purchase a lamp. Erica, I got you these for your bathroom. One is for cotton balls. One is for um, Q-tips. Or you can figure out some something to put in it. The face pads, like when you cleaning your face or something. I don't know. But you guys, it is time. <laughs> I think we've been putting this off long enough. 
time for the Munch Pack review. So, so it says featuring delicious snacks from Greece, Japan, Spain, and more. So pretty much it's gonna be snacks from all over the world that we'll be trying today. It's a strawberry soda, it looks like. All right. Hey. You want, oh. You can open up, let me see where they're from. Does it say? Yep. Yeah. So they're right here, you guys. This one right here. I'm pretty sure this is and Spanish. And it says it is from Spain. Yep. Yeah. So it's from Spain, and they're called Torres Pro Plus Chips. I don't know. I don't know. You're supposed to cut it. Are you supposed to cut it? Or you can rip it down from that way. All right, here you go. No, she's able to rip it. It smells weird. Right. It do have like a weird smell, but they look like a regular chip. They look like a regular chip. Okay. It's not bad, but it just tastes different. Like there's an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Or not an aftertaste, it's like you think it's supposed to taste plain, but it kind of have like this moldy cheese, right? I don't know, it just smells like, it tastes, tastes how it smells. Yeah. Like it's fresh, it have good crunch or whatever, but. But the taste is different. There's a taste. Um, If you, look, it got like black cracked black pepper on it. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about Are it. Are you supposed to be rating them or something? Mm. Yeah, you can rate it. What do you think? Um, One to ten. Ten being the highest. I'll give it a 6.5. Yeah, I was going to say probably like a seven. I was going to say. All right, what else you want, you want to try next? Um, All right, so... Um, So those are the Cheetos P Cheetos Pizza Tic Tac Toes chips. And these are from Israel. Smell like cheese, but it kind of have like this after smell. I can't really explain it. Oh, those are good. Is it these are what it this is what it looks like? I still taste the other chips. Oh, that was the X and this is the O. Oh, they really like tic tac toes. Mm -hmm. It's really light and fluffy and airy. I like these. Um, I would eat these like on the They're good. I would eat them too. Because they're so light and the flavor is not like blowed off or whatever. Tastes like, like, regular, chips. like regular chips a little it bit. It doesn't taste like regular Cheetos, but it tastes like regular chips. I don't know what these are, but I'm interested. Those are chorus whistle candies. And it those and those are from Japan. It's not there you focusing. Go. Oh, it is. Oops, those are from garden. Japan. Mm -hmm. Love the taste of soda. Enjoy it in candy form. These little candies are cola flavored and super tasty. You won't believe how much they taste like cola. where this soda is from. Okay, the Chupa Chups, Chupa Chups Strawberries and Cream Soda. This is from Korea. It's a strawberry and cream soda. Oh, it's a toy. And we're gonna taste it. These are the ones that taste like cola? Yep. Kind of smelly. So what was in the box? 
That's a toy, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a toy? This is what it looks like, you guys. Mmm. It does taste like this. It does, and it's really soft. You think it's hard, but when you put it in your mouth, it doesn't take much pressure to break it. It's really good. Mmm. It's like we're eating Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. Literally. Oh, wow. That's really good. I kind of like that. Mm-hmm. All right. Those are tofu biscuits. Rock <clears throat> salt flavor. Think animal crackers with a pinch of salt. These are sweet, salty, crunchy, and come in super cute shapes. And it's actually from Taiwan. Right. I'm going to pour me and Erica some of this soda because I'm curious and... Oh, it looks like a ooh, like a lemonade with acid or something. It may be good. I don't mean to frown my face up like that, but I'm just not used to soda looking like that. But it definitely smells different. Why all they stuff got a funny after smell or something? It's like I don't know. It's weird. It's not bad. They're good. I so, thought it was going to be salty, salty. Me too. So it's like, it tastes like rich crackers. Mm -hmm. With a, a pinch. And when I say a pinch of sugar, a pinch of sugar. Like, it's not straight up salt, but it tastes just like rich crackers. It really does. They're good. It tastes like rich crackers. Yeah. Cheers. Mm, it's good. It's not that bad. It would be really good if it was cold. Like, you could tell mm -hmm. this is a drink that, because of the what it tastes like, it got to be, like, really, really cold. But it's not bad. But when you go to drink it, it throws you off because it smells like strawberries, bubblegum. It does. <clears throat> not bad, but it's not very acidy. Right? It don't have yeah, a whole lot not. of... It's very mild. It doesn't have a lot it does, of acid. It's not going to make you burp, like... No. All right, what's that? A Kit Kat, a Cat Cat, a Ochre, a Ochre, Cat Cat Tat with cocoa filling, and it's from Turkey. Oh. Show them what it looked like. It's really flaky. Yeah, it's very flaky, so the top part of the crust fell off. But this looks like it's kind of glazed in something. Yeah, it's glazed. It look, it has like a sugar glaze on the top. Oh, it's very flaky. Uh-uh. Why? Give me that part without the flakes on the top. You need to taste it. It's good. I ain't all that glazed. It's not. Mm. It's good. The top part it looks like that, and it has like cocoa filling inside. It's not bad. I'm trying to see what it tastes like because it does taste like something. I'm trying to figure out what. I don't know. I like it. I wish it I had like more of the chocolate in it. Yeah, because not so much flakes. Yeah, it's very light and flaky. I can do without. I can do without. It's good though, but. Not careful. Alright. Double Dutch. A double Dutch maple stroop, stroop waffle. This ooey gooey maple flavored treat is best paired with coffee, but also delicious on its own. No matter which way you eat it, you'll enjoy Ho Holland's favorite cookie. This is from Canada, so it's a Canada snack. From Canada. It looks like a little waffle. It does, show them. Looks like a waffle. Turn around. Yeah. It's like a waffle. It says ooey gooey. 
Okay. What's ooey gooey about that? Syrup. Keep it inside. Syrup. It's really thin. And it's it's like dry. It doesn't have like a glaze or anything on the top. But you can tell it's some form of glaze in the middle of it. Oh, it smells just like syrup. And it it tastes gooey. like a waffle. It's good, but I think the syrup is a little too much for me. Yeah. I don't want syrup like tasting on my snacks. Mm. Not, yeah. Oh, we're not even rating them anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped rating them. Because honestly, um, I don't know. Yeah, that one's not bad. Mm, just the syrup, please. Mm hmm. Wipe the top of your lip. Zaza Sippy Green Apple. A sippy straw you can eat. These green apple flavor straws from China will be your new favorite way to satisfy a sweet tooth. Oh. Yeah, and this is what it looks like. It actually has like a plastic coating over it. Like it's like yeah. really a straw. So it's cute. So do you eat the plastic? I think you're just supposed to squeeze it out. Oh yeah, because you can't eat the plastic. There you go. Why you want to show them that? Because. Like your two teeth came in. Look at them nails. Okay. <laughs> okay. <girl. laughs> All right. Hey, you guys. It is Friday evening. Um, I um, I've been off of work now for a couple of hours. Erica, um, not Erica. And uh, I don't, I don't have to go to school for four days. So you might see me in four days. <laughs> so I've been off work for a few hours I actually went um, dress shopping looking for something to wear for a good friend's wedding she's getting married tomorrow and um, I bought something but I'm not really 100% satisfied with it but it's better than nothing and right now I just got a headache and I'm just feeling like oh like so right now um, I just got in the house I am, me and, me and Aubrey, we're going to eat like some pizza and then we're going to go to church because we have church tonight. We have Bible study. So also, I wanted to show you guys, wasn't I just talking about being good with the plants? But I, honestly, I have not bought, purchased any plants in a couple of months. But anyway, I purchased some plants and they're not big plants. They're like starter plants. So, well, not even starter plants. They're literally like seedlings. So right here, this little one right here with the um, the leaf, the one leaf, that is my baby. And then this one with the node is my baby. I have, I have never grown a node before. So this literally, a plant is supposed to come out of this, you guys. So I've never done that before. So I am definitely going to have to do a YouTube video to see how do I care for it. I think I just leave it right in there the way it is. And then a leaf supposed to grow from it. And then this is just um, a one leaf rooted plant. I don't remember the name of these, what I even purchased. Honestly, I'm not going to even lie. And then in here, what's left is a, these are seeds. So this is a black velvet. This is for Ray Ray. I picked these up for Ray Ray. We are in this plant group on Facebook. This is a, I don't even know how to pronounce this one. Um, Maharini. These are just seeds, and a plant is supposed to develop from there. And then the same here. This is a poly alocasia. Alocasia poly. So that's for Ray Ray. I have to take it to him at church tonight. And um, I'll keep you guys posted on how it goes from this to something bigger. This is um, it's a pot that I purchased. This is it's painted inside. Um, so that's why it looks like that. It's just painted. But this is a beautiful pot that I picked up from Lowe's that I'm going to be transferring this plant into. This one is called a, um, a, a crown of thorn, a thorn of crown, something like that. A crown of thorns, something like that. I don't know. But it is pretty much dying. And I told my friend, 
that I was going to take it and I was going to care for it and nurse it back to life. So I have all of my um, pot and mix stuff here. I have more underneath the cabinet that I'm going to mix with it as well. I'm going to put it in that new pot that I actually showed you guys, which is right here. And then we're going to see if we could get that back to life. I hope and pray that it comes back with no problems. I'm definitely going to pray over it so it'll be fine. You want pepperoni or cheese? Pepperoni. Okay, hold on, Abriel. So we are just going to be doing this Stofa's, uh pizza. I'm going to just put that in the oven. And uh, yeah, and then we got to get out the door to go to church. Hey, you guys. So I am home. Today is Sunday. And um, oh, here she goes. Okay, she wants you guys to see she can blow a bubble now. And then we have Ray Ray here. Hello. And Ray Ray is making tacos. Nachos. Are we making tacos? Oh, nachos. Okay, he corrected me. So it's nachos. And he's making, what is that? Beef and what else? They all be okay, so beef na nachos. His uh, and chicken nachos. His regular ground beef. This Erica. And you see here I have another munch pack, which I'm going to be doing with Ray Ray and Arbriel. And we're going to get another opinion, okay, because I did not really care for mine too much. I actually called and canceled my subscription, I think yesterday. I called and canceled my prescription, my subscription. And um, I actually have my other package came in my other Amazon package came in for my bathroom I'm still not done you guys with my bathroom but um, I think I put some stuff on the wall like hang some stuff go open it just like this Ooh, my battery is dying this is a, um, it's supposed to give me like more space in my bathroom so I'm going to sit it like on my sink as long as it's not too big where I can actually, it'll actually hold more stuff on my sink top. So they didn't have gold and wood. I got the black and wood color because it has silver and I knew I didn't want to do the silver because my bathroom is gold. But I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Look at our new friend. Don't pay attention to the laundry on the floor. And Erica books. And... Hi, Olive. Why is she running from me? Olive. <laughs> we have a new face in the family. I'm pet sitting. Look at Olive. She's so cute. Stormy, look at Stormy over here hissing, making noises. You better not, Stormy. Stormy, no. But isn't she cute? She's so little. She liking my plants a little too much, though. I don't know about this. Hi, Olive. She's so cute. Uh-uh. Get down. Uh-uh, Erica. Look at her. Oh, no, she not. She playing, oh, she playing with a dead leaf underneath the thing. She bad. Oh, my goodness. 